We're not even seeing like a clue that there's there's something positive coming our way here. It's something straight out of a, a sci-fi movie. This stood literally no chance against the fiber. It's Alex over at Laser Everything, and welcome to the second episode of Lasered, where we're gonna be finding some great settings for, and ultimately destroying, Apple AirPods Pro. Don't forget to stick around to the end of the episode to find out exactly how you can win your own pair of AirPods Pro to bring home and dance around like Jimmy. The actions you're about to see are performed by professionals. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh. Hey guys, it's time to start marking on the Apple AirPods Pro. And we are starting with the UV laser because it's most likely to have good results. So that's where we're gonna start. Uh, we're gonna try to mark the case really. This is the main thing people are gonna wanna mark but we might also try to mark on the pods themselves. They seem to be made out of the same plastic, don't you think? Yeah. So um, we're gonna go ahead and give that a try and we'll see how it goes. Should we start where we ended with the Pixel? See if we get like that really nice, white, clean white mark again? Yeah. Yeah, the AirPods case is so much smaller than the phone. I think we should really try to tighten it up. Tighten this up. Yeah, we gotta go small with this. Wow, nice and bright. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Give it a shot. Whoa! That is way dark. That's so cool. That's badass. Awesome. I was not expecting that. Oh my God, it's clean too. Check that out. That's perfect. We're just nailing this, guys. Uh, I don't know, we're, we're having good luck with our uh, our lasered show here. It's also the UV. We gotta keep in mind it's the UV. The UV it's, does everything nicely. So yeah. there's your AirPods case marked. That's a really nice, clean gray. I think that's about as well as we can hope to do. I don't know how we would improve it. I don't know how we would improve it either. That's a, that's a very clean, nice looking mark. So I think we'll just go ahead. Let's just go ahead and call it there. And we're gonna move right onto the diode. Okay, dude, the uh, AirPods Pro are in the diode, ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, get it framed up and get going. Okay, sweet. Oh man, it's way too hot. <laughs> Should I stop it? Oh, I don't know, dude, it's melting. Oh, it's melting. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, holy sh holy crap, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out there that uh, diode is not the way. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh. I don't know, let me wipe that off actually. Uh, no. It's a gross mess. That's not looking good. I mean, should we try, should we try to lower it? Do you wanna to try to take that power down? We can, yeah. Let's try like 25%. It's looking cleaner at the start. At least it's not super melty. So you're kind of getting a nicer gray in there though. Diode might just be a lost cause on these. I'm thinking so. AirPods Pro, no good settings. Uh, not in our short experimentation time anyway. You no. may be able to spend more time and, and find something if, if you're really after it. Uh, but unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to move on to the CO2 gal though. I, I think so. All right. Okay, we've moved over to the CO2 Galvo for the AirPods Pro. And I'm hoping we can get something decent out of this. We didn't really get there with the Pixel 6a. This is a totally different kind of plastic. So, I mean, maybe. It's a heat laser. When you melt plastic, gross stuff kind of happens. I did bring my N95. We learned a hard lesson last week. <coughs> oh, gross. Oh, why did I breathe that in? <coughs> the Pixel 6a was disgusting. It brutal. And we're gonna start where we started last week. Uh, it was a line spacing 0.05, a speed of 1500, a power of 40 and a frequency of 20. It was decent on the Pixel. It, it looked okay, so I feel like for plastics, it might be a good place to start here. Let's go ahead and get it lined up. Ready to mark? Let's do it. Oh, super yellow. Gross. Burny grossness. Oh, it's just totally melting. Uh, not, not great. 
Definitely not uh, what we're looking for on that. Less power would make sense then. Maybe we could even raise the frequency. Just kind of break those pulses up. That yep. might help out. So uh, let's try another one. It's whiter, but it's still burning. Still burning up pretty bad. Yeah, not great. Not, not super great. Does smell better than the Pixel though. Uh, <coughs> yeah, not great. <laughs> <laughs> we could try raising the speed. There's not a lot to do with CO2 galvos are not very complicated machines. Uh, we could try to hit it a little faster though. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I mean, it's it's better, but it's still gross. I, I, I don't, I'm not thinking the AirPods are gonna, are gonna make it on the CO2 galvo here. I'm thinking it's not ideal. Yeah. The only other thing I can think of is to spread our, our line distance out a little bit. Yeah, maybe that's about it. Okay, here we go. I mean, it's probably the best one yet, but it's still yellow. It's just not very clean. Yeah, I think the uh, I think the AirPods Pro are thumbs down on the CO2 Galvo, guys. We're not even seeing like a clue that there's there's something positive coming our way here. No. Uh, it just might not be the right laser for this. I, I say send it over to the fiber. To the fiber. Okay, to the fiber. Well, last episode, we ran the fiber over the Pixel 6a, and it was like a huge surprise ending. Uh, we got a really good mark. I'm hoping that the fiber can keep up that tradition uh, here with the AirPods Pro. We did get a reliable mark with the UV. We did. Uh, the UV mark looks great, uh, but being able to do it on more than one platform would be really nice. So it, it's not quite as dire as the Pixel, yeah. but give me something, you know? Yeah, 200 frequency, 200 cupels. Good enough. Let's get it lasered. Interesting. So, um, kind of light. Yeah, kind of light, uh, kind of, there's a texture to it. Hmm. I, it's not bad. And that was with a crosshatch. The UV up there in the top left corner, and then we have our fiber mark that we achieved in the center. I think we could probably get it a little bit better. Just try to get a little more color out of it. Yeah, maybe 5%. I, I was laughing at you in my head. I thought that turning the power up was a crazy idea, but that seems to have made the mark much more consistent. You know what? It kind of reminds me of kind of like a desert stone. Kind of got that like speckly kind of look to it. Mm -hmm. Like a river stone. One more time, a little more power, just for old time's sake. This material is super fiber friendly. It's, it's working. It is. It's even better. That's the best one yet. The texture is nice too. Yeah, it's like getting better as we turn the power up, which makes it's, me feel like we're kind of obligated to keep going. The frequency is doing good and yeah. it's responding well to power. There we go. That was too much. That was definitely too much there. Yeah, it got a bit melty and crusty. It sure did. I feel kind of bad that we're not acknowledging the uh, lower frequency guys, like on the Rakus machines uh, and stuff like that. Should we maybe try to see what it does around 80? All right, let's check it out. Uh, actually not, it doesn't- There's only one pass. Too. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, I kind of want to- hatch. I kind of want to hit it again. Let's just not touch it and hit it again. They're in luck, man. That's, that's nice. So it looks like that high frequency is really going to give you more of like the tan look and uh, a lower frequency is going to be more of like a flat gray. We just wanted to remind you that while we are eviscerating an entire slew of electronics during this show, we have been very careful to make sure that we are completely thorough in removing 100% of the lithium ion batteries that are contained within the components we're marking. Kyle, you're an Apple guy. Sometimes. I'm not. Time to taste the flesh of my enemy. Good. I'm good. Whoa, that's a lot of flame too, dude. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't stand a chance. Look at it bubbling up. Do you see it bubbling up? Yeah. Look right here. It's so crazy. Oh, it's like expanding. Oh, the cross hatch. Dude, it's just vaporizing it. It's like no contest at all. Yeah. Wow. Take a look at this, guys. Uh, that's just that brutal. Is there fire still? Oh, <laughs> look at this. Do you see this? Uh. Oh my God, man. That is uh, some Prop 65 right there. Gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly. I don't even know what else we can do to this. I, that's basically it. I mean, we could try a cut test. That is uh, basically oh. 
plastic charcoal. I found some metal in there, look. Tasty. I think those are the charging contacts. You wanna see what we can do with a little cut test real quick? Yeah, let's do it. I look about right. I guess. <laughs> Is there a wrong answer? I don't think so. All right. Oh! Can we go even, can we go even slower? We could. 20, give me like 25. Oh. Whew. Oh my God, dude, do you see it lighting up? Yeah. As it comes around that front area right there, it's just crazy. Wah, just lights up. Oh man, no chance. No chance at all. It's just, it's just gum. Ew. It's just gum at this point, dude. Melty, melty. Totally just wasted. This stood literally no chance against the fiber at all. I just don't even know. I don't even know what to do with that, dude. That's uh. You know what? I think it's safe to say it's been lasered. I think it's been lasered, dude. But uh, we aren't done yet. We need to feed the uh, the scraps here to the beast. So let's head over to the UV laser. To the UV. Jesus Christ. Look at it. It's, uh, it's like in plastic string cheese. What the f Crazy. As a Google fan myself, I've never been more excited to destroy something that was made by Apple. You know, I do have an Apple iPhone but there's something in the air right now. There's something in the air right now, and uh, there's gonna be something in the air later. Uh, deadly toxic plastic fumes. It's gonna be some of these pods. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, with that, I think we're ready for the UV drill test. UV drill test. That is reactive. Yeah, it's just basically instantly turning to fire, and uh, you can see the burnt out areas of the plastic spreading down the side of the actual AirPods case itself. I'm not gonna lie, this kind of stinks. Yeah. It really is in the air. No, yeah, this is disgusting. I'm wondering if I move it with my hand a little bit, if I can get the laser to actually shoot down into the AirPod holding area. Oh, you can kind of hear it. Wow, look at that. It looks like plasma inside there. The glow of the UV laser is so cool. It's something straight out of a, a sci-fi movie. Yeah, it looks like the inside of like a spaceship under attack by aliens. Yeah. It's really having no trouble getting through this plastic at all. Okay, man, we've done so much damage to this thing. I, I think we're done. It's uh, it's kind of just a melty mess at this point. Yeah, let's go ahead and stop. Okay, guys, well, I think um, we can check this one off the list is lasered. Lasered. Yeah, definitely lasered. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this episode of the show, please, don't forget to smash the like button. Let everybody else know that you had fun here today. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because Kyle and I have a lot of juicy stuff coming up in next week's episode. There's five episodes left still. There's a lot of things to die. Yeah, there are a lot of things to die. Hopefully it's not you and me after this disaster. With that said, guys, remember, we're giving away a brand spanking new pair of Apple AirPods Pro. If you'd like to get your hands on them, don't forget to check down in the description for a link on instructions for how to get your entries. And remember, if you guys love the channel, the best way to support it is by heading over to masters.lasereverything.net. We are a viewer supported channel and we appreciate the support of every single one of you who gives us the opportunity to do this. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, I don't know, man, this is, uh, it's, it's really still stinking. It's not just AirPods now. Yeah. Now it's long pods. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and leave that by the exhaust and um, we'll... We're gonna go now. Yeah, uh, bye. bye. Laser.